Look, I know you love Stable Diffusion, but I don't want you to melt down your graphics card generating all these awesome AI images. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get the automatic 1111 web UI for Stable Diffusion up and running on a virtual RunPod server. With just a few minutes and a handful of pennies, you'll be able to get your own RunPod server up and running, and I'm going to show you how. This tutorial is brought to you by Stream Studio and also by RunPod. Go to runpod.everlyheights.tv to spin up a stable diffusion server in just a couple of minutes. Hey, it's Bill Meeks here for Building Dreams, where I'll show you how to use the latest AI technology to bring your dreams to life, just like I'm doing with my Meeks Cinematic Universe Everly Heights. Stable Diffusion is an awesome tool for creatives like me, but getting Stable Diffusion set up on your PC can be a huge pain, especially if you're installing it on your main production rig like me, where reliability is very important. And if you don't have a beefy graphics card, eh, you might as well just walk away. You're gonna set it on fire with this stuff. Full disclosure, RunPod is a sponsor of this video, but my opinions are my own. I actually approached them because I needed a bit more computing power to bring Everly Heights to life. Okay, let's set up our Stable Diffusion server. It's pretty easy. Step one, start up your server. First, you have to go to runpod.io and sign up for an account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in because I already have one. Okay, so I'm signed in and I have credit in my account about $25, more than enough to run a Stable Diffusion server. Okay, so first up, let's go to the Browse Servers tab. Now you wanna use the right tool, or in this case, GPU for the job, right? You probably have some ideas in your head based on cost or power, but luckily RunPod makes it really easy with all these drop-down menus. You can see you know, prices from uh, cheapest to most expensive, or most expensive to cheapest. Uh, you can sort them by upload and download speed, which is really important and you can select the type of GPU you're gonna be targeting here. For my purposes today, I'm gonna to go for an RTX 4090. Now, luckily there are several 4090s available. You'll see every server has a reliability rating. I recommend going for a server that has 100% uh, reliability, just because you don't wanna get interrupted while you're generating your cool art, right? I'd also recommend taking note of the location of the server and the upload and the download speed. Especially if you're doing something pretty major like training a new model, you're gonna to wanna to find a server that's close to you and that has a high amount of upload and download bandwidth. Now for my purposes today, I'm going to use an RTX 4090, which is quite the step up from my uh, NVIDIA 3060 I have over here in the, in the desktop. Up here, you can also select uh, multiple GPUs if you want, all the way up to eight plus GPUs, but we're not doing anything that major today, so I'll stick with my 4090. Okay, so all we have to do is click deploy, and then this window pops up, You'll wanna go ahead and scroll down and find your Stable Diffusion template. I usually use RunPod Stable Diffusion, but I, I've heard a lot of good things about the RunPod Stable Diffusion Fast model too, so you might wanna check that out. So you'll also wanna make sure this checkbox that says Start Jupyter Notebook is checked. That's gonna be sort of an admin interface where you can interact with the file system, but we're not gonna need that today. Okay, now that we're all set up, we just have to click Deploy. Okay, so our pod is being built as we speak. It should be ready in a few minutes. We can watch the progress by clicking on my pods here, and then we can watch here as the server starts up. It'll just take a minute. Here, I'll spin around in a circle. Okay, it's done. You just have to wait for that CPU to show at 0%. I'm also very dizzy. Okay, and now that the server's up and running, we just have to click connect and then connect via HTTP, and it'll load up our server in a new tab. There, your virtual server is up and running in just a couple minutes and a few spins around the room for me. So that's how to set up a RunPod server and get running with stable diffusion in the cloud so your own computer doesn't melt down into a little pile of ash. If you wanna give RunPod a spin, go to runpod.everlyheights.tv to sign up and give me a little credit because you know, I told you about it. 
So I have a functional server, but I have a lot of custom models and extensions and all sorts of stuff, basically a whole uh, stable diffusion lab on my home PC that I'm gonna wanna move to the cloud so I can work with it. Would you be interested in me doing a tutorial about how I get all my models and extensions loaded up into a run pod so I can work on Everly Heights? If so, let me know down in the comments. Well, thanks for joining me today for this tutorial and thanks to RunPod for sponsoring Everly Heights so I can show you how I'm using the latest AI technology to bring my dreams to life. See you next time. Read the stories and join the team at everlyheights.tv. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Everly Heights. Watch us build Everly Heights in building dreams by subscribing to at Bill Meeks LA on YouTube. And why don't you like this video while you're at it to help people find our stuff? To contact us about partnership opportunities, or if you have questions about joining the team, send an email to billmeeks at everlyheights.tv.